next talk is from Eric Wang from the Institute for Medical Engineering and Science and called A Vaccine That Works Against Any COVID Variant. Did you get COVID even though you were vaccinated? At this point, that's a rhetorical question because I know almost everyone in this room got COVID already. Now, one of the most important reasons that happened is because the virus changed into variants. When we get a vaccine, our body produces a piece of the virus called the spike protein, which is shown in the top left. Our body uses these spike proteins to produce antibodies that can neutralize the virus. However, the first versions of the vaccine we all received were based on the original virus in Wuhan. So when the virus changed or mutated into variants, then the antibodies we made didn't work as well. Now currently, we address this problem by updating our vaccine with recent variants like Omicron. But this is not ideal because it does require constantly updating our vaccine like what we do with the annual flu shot. A better strategy is to look at the top of the spike protein at a particular part called the receptor binding domain or RBD, which is shown in red. Across many coronavirus variants, there's always one part of the RBD that doesn't change which I'll call the conserved part. And if we can make antibodies that bind the conserved part, then we'll be protected against any COVID variant. The problem is that our current vaccines can't do this because the conserved part is on the inside of the spike protein. So antibodies have a hard time getting to it from the outside. So my collaborators made a new vaccine and in theirs, they only use the RBD and they put many of them on the outside of a spherical nanoparticle, which is shown in the bottom left. This way, the conserved part is exposed to the outside. And in my work, I use computational methods to further design the non-conserved parts of the RBD to get the antibodies we want. These are shown on the right, and they include things like using machine learning to pick which mutations don't change the structure of the RBD, and also predicting what kind of antibodies we'll get by actually simulating on a computer how antibodies develop in our lymph nodes. If successful, this vaccine would be a big change for public health. For one thing, we wouldn't need to get updated COVID shots every year, which is especially important for developing countries. But even better, when SARS-CoV-3 comes around, we'll already be immune. 